Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Lucas and welcome to another F123 video where today I'm going to be showing you guys my camera settings and they are quite literally, I think they're identical to last year. Um, so without further ado, well, first of all, here's how they look um, in obviously, obviously my McLaren. Um, but I will be showing you what this looks like in every other onboard of all the other te of all ten teams. So um, yeah, I will give you guys I get basically what it looks like overall. So without further ado, though, we're going to get into the settings. Um, I'll try and make this as straightforward as possible. So I have it as a global camera settings, and what that means is you can actually make settings specific to a car. So you can make it, you know, every car has a different camera setting, which is quite useful as the the standard position and changes car to car. But for me, I just have it on a global setting and that's what you'll see going around all the other cars. So this will be like a fixed camera setting going through the cars to give you guys sort of a baseline of where it would be. My FOV, as you can see here, which button is it to hide the menu? Ah, there we go. I don't, I don't know. There we go. But anyway, there we go. So to hide the menu, um, this is what it looks like with the FOV on minus 10. That's what it looks like. Minus 10... And that is what it looks like default. I have a little bit of FOV just to make everything a little bit um, more zoomed, basically. Uh, the lateral and horizontals are in the default position. The height is on 15, as I feel like if it's on zero, it's a little bit too low down. Um, and you start seeing the helmet a little bit much. So I have my vertical on 15. Um, I could technically... Um, go a bit higher to be honest but I've been on 15 for a while and I'm sort of used to it at that point and I can also see the steering wheel a little bit down the bottom angle I have a minus 18 which is nearly um, yeah nearly the max angle but I just have it on um, I have it on 18 uh, as on the standard angle again because I'm so high in the car if I have it on a standard angle it's a little bit um, too extreme now near clip plane is quite an important setting as you are about to see if I have this setting on zero, you can see just faintly, like for example, if I bring this the other way, because the clip plane basically adjusts what isn't, isn't in the shot of the camera. This is like the top of the roll hoop here on minus 20. So having the near cl clip plane all the way to the end means that you can't, uh, yeah, can't see any of that, which is important. Mirror angle, you can adjust as you can see the angle of the mirrors to preference. I have this on default as... You can, you know, get a good view. You have a pretty much solid view of things as it is. Camera shake and camera movement I have off as it is of absolute no performance benefit to me to have things shaking around if I don't need them to be. So, yeah, that is my camera settings quite literally. And I will quickly take them for a, a, a brief little spin round Silverson to show you what it looks like when driving. And then I will cut away and I will show you what it looks like and all the other onboards um, of uh, all, all ten cars. So yeah, um, these settings have done me well. I think I've had these camera settings of either identical or very similar nature since the very, very end of F1 2020 maybe? Or the very start of 2021. So I've had the same camera view roughly for a while and... Um, yeah, they've done me well for all that time, so I've just kept it very nice and simple. It means every year I have a similar reference. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you very much for tuning in, and I'm going to show you guys the rest remaining uh, Yeah, onboards. Take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the video. Ciao.